All right, let's take a look now how we can use a PDF, or sorry, use rather Photoshop documents to create a multi-page PDF. And this is really kind of the point of all these little short videos. So I've got this base template in place and I'm just going to import the sample PSD projects. Now I've actually just gone and downloaded a few random sample projects that students have already created. So I'll show you those here on my desktop. So I've got them in this portfolio images and here's one of the painted apple assignments. Here's one of the ones where you had to separate the image and uh, get the hair right, separate the hair and put a different color in the background. Here's the Photoshop yourself into a famous photo. Uh, here's a sample web buttons and uh, some clipping mask assignment that you did. Anyway, so I'm gonna use a few of these assignments to create uh, a, a sample, right? Of course, you would choose your own 10 images. So what I'm gonna do is I need to get all of those PSD files into layers inside of Photoshop. There's a lot of ways you can do that. You can use the automation commands that we've already learned where you can uh, import those and put them in layers using the scripts and then automate. I'm just gonna sort of just say file um, import or place here. So I'll just go to the uh, file. Now you can either place embedded or linked. I'm gonna use the place linked command so that my original Photoshop document doesn't get so large. And I'll go ahead and just select um, these one by one. So I'll just start off with here. I'm gonna hit place. It's gonna come in as its file. I'll go ahead and hit okay. And for right now, I'm just gonna kind of leave it in place and leave that layer alone. And I'm gonna do this four more times. So file place, uh, like this place linked. And I'll select the next one, hit place. It'll come in, hit okay. File place. There's our third, we'll hit place here. It'll come in, we'll hit okay. File place. And there is our fourth one. And we'll hit okay. File place. Now, one thing I didn't pay attention to when I was grabbing these is the resolution. You, of course, need to select images that have sufficient resolution to be able to be printed at 240 minimum uh, DPI. Uh, but I didn't I didn't pay attention when I was downloading these, so ensure that yours do have that resolution. So the one that may I'm thinking may have be problems is this one. I don't think that was probably quite that high, but nonetheless, check on your end. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, take all these layers and I'm going to create groups from them. So I'm going to group this first one. I'm going to group this second one, third one, fourth one. I'm just hitting Command G on my keyboard and the fifth one. Okay, so I've got a group for each of these guys. And I'm gonna turn off everything but one, group one for right now. So in group one, what I want to do is I wanna copy all of the stuff that makes up the, I'm gonna open this up, copy all the stuff from the template into this group. So I'm going to just grab this image, and I'm gonna scale it up here, and it's already a linked image, or a linked image. Uh, object so I can rescale it without any problems because it's just a linked smart object at this point. So I'm just going to scale this down and drop it up here and then I'm going to copy these uh, four layers. Now I'm holding down the alter option and I'm going to click and drag those up into my group one. Again this is you could do this a million different ways but this is just the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to hide my template and turn on my background layer there. So um, I actually need to copy this. I'm going to copy the background layer as well into each group, just so each individual group has all the components necessary for a page. All right, then of course I'm going to uh, make up a reflection about this assignment and uh, whatever else, however else you want to design or create this page. So I'm going to consider that uh, fine on my, I'll just quickly move these layers up on this group. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong ones. Let's try that again. There's four right there. Move those up a little bit. Grab this image out down a bit. Anyway, so there's a page, right? So now I'm going to go into my group two, turn this one off, turn this one on, and do the same thing. Copy all these layers into group two. And then we'll come into group two. And same thing, right? We'll take this and we'll put this up here at the top so we can actually see it. Move it up here, scale this around however we need. 
holding down shift and option at the same time so I can scale from the center, make up a reflection, change this, design this however you want, etc., etc. Okay, I'm going to rinse and repeat this really quick just a couple of more times here. So I'll grab these four, whoops, throw those inside of group three, put this here on the top, and we'll hide that, turn on group four, make sure that one's ready. Copy all these in, again, holding down option to click and drag these all at once into group four. Move this here to the top. Whoops, I double clicked on accident. So I don't want to go and embed that smart object. If you double click on the linked image, it will try to take you into smart object uh, working mode. That's what I accidentally clicked on. And then finally, the last one here, group five. I'll copy all these into group five. And I can turn off my template and then just come quickly, turn on this and get the little painted apple up to the top here. Okay, so I just wanna quickly now double check that I've got all these. So I'll just go through one by one. There's group five, there's group four, group three. That image is much too large. I need to resize this one down. So we'll scale that guy down, throw it up here. Hit okay. Group two, group one. Okay, so I now have essentially a layer for every single PDF image or every single page that's going to be inside of my multi-page PDF. And now I can go ahead and export these into a multi-page PDF. There's three or four ways to do this in Photoshop as well. I'm just going to illustrate one simple method and that is using layer comps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the window layer comps uh, somewhere. There it is, window layer comps. And I'm going to create a layer comp for each one of my pages. Now, of course, missing from our PDF is the title page. I don't have a title page. If you're reading the instructions for the printed portfolio you need to create, you need to have a left and a right-hand side for each spread, if you will, when you open up your printed portfolio, a left-hand page and a right-hand page. The right-hand page has the finished image and the reflection. The left-hand page has all the source images, so anything you use that's you know sort of in raw material, so you can sort of see the evolution of the project. Um, so, for example, in this one right here, the left-hand page would have, you know, the original famous photo, the original photograph of yourself. So you can sort of see how that evolved into the composite image that you've created. We don't have those left images, but you're you're going to need to create those as part of your portfolio. So you'll have, you know, several more layers than I do in groups. Uh, but let's go ahead and create our layer comps. So we're going to go down to Window Layer Comps. And I'm just going to create a layer comp from each group. So I'm going to hit the new button right here. Notice I only have group one turned on. All the rest are turned off. Make sure all three of these check boxes are checked. And I'm just going to call this guy one and hit OK. Then I'll toggle this off, toggle number two on, create a new, a new layer comp, hit number two. Toggle that off, toggle layer three on, create a new layer comp, call this three. Toggle three off, toggle four on, create a new layer comp, call this four. And then finally do that one more time. Our last layer here, or my last layer rather. Number five and hit okay. So I've got five layer, five layer comps created. You can cycle between them. And this is kind of a handy way that you can easily see, you know, the, the pages, how your PDF's going to be created. Once I'm satisfied with my PDFs and my design and whatnot, my reflections, then it's finally time to create the actual PDF file that you'll upload to this assignment. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a pretty simple command here. It's depending on the version, it's either under file scripts or it's under file export. Mine is under file export. And it's this command right here. It's called layer comps to PDF. So this will take each one of your layer comps, save a temporary image, and then combine all those into a multi-page PDF. It's kind of a weird command. So let's go ahead and select it. And it says, hey, where do you want me to save the final PDF? So I'm just gonna click browse here. I'll click on my desktop. I'm just gonna save it into my portfolio images and I'll call it Andrew Final for lack of a better term. Okay, so I'm gonna click uh, save there. And I don't want to turn on the automatic slideshow. This, this is if you double click the PDF, it'll automatically sort of fade through the various pages in the multi-page PDF. I don't want that. I wanna manually be able to advance my pages. So I'll unselect that. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So we go ahead and hit run here. And this may take, I don't know, a couple seconds depending on 
uh, the speed of your computer and whatnot because it has to Photoshop has to create all these temporary documents and save them in memory and then combine them all into a big PDF. So while this is going, I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll come back once it's complete. All right, we're back here. That only took five or six more seconds after I hit pause, but it says layer comps to PDF was successful. So I'm going to hit OK there and let's go ahead and double check and make sure our PDF was successfully created. So before I do anything else, I'm going to save this PSD that I'm working on in case I need to recreate that PDF if I made a few tweaks. I can easily just come and recreate it in one click. So I'm going to minimize Photoshop here and we'll jump over to the desktop. And I guess I need to, to get out of my video screen recording program here. And we'll jump here to our desktop. So I saved it inside of Portfolio Images and there it is, andrewfinal.pdf. So I'll double click this to open this up in my PDF program I have right here, which is Reader on the Mac. And you can see I've got my multi-page PDF. There's page one, page two, page three, page four, and page five. And if you've done this successfully and you've, you've created your multi-page PDF, you should just be able to take this PDF and just print it exactly one for one to turn in your printed portfolio assignment. And then, you know, sort of the old saying, kill two birds with one stone there. So if you do your digital portfolio right, all you have to do is just hit file print and you're done with your printed portfolio. And you should end up with a nice, lovely portfolio here like Lauren has created with all the sample projects that you've selected throughout the semester for your uh, printed portfolio. So hope that helps answer a couple questions and shows you a, maybe a somewhat easy method of doing that inside of Photoshop to create your digital and printed portfolios.